all right everybody what is up it's flicks welcome back in this video guys we are going to be talking about an issue that i actually brought up and undressed um maybe like five months ago whenever the game probably kind of first came out roughly it might have been november or december so i will put the image up on the screen for you guys right now so this was the actual original video that i actually made um back whenever i had this problem for myself i didn't think much of it i thought it was just to do with my controller you know maybe i have something to do with my playstation it could have been anything uh, i wasn't expecting the video to go viral so i thank you guys for the support i thank you for all the viewers i thank you for all the comments i thank you for all the, all the uh, subscribes from it and all the likes it's very very much appreciated guys and it really really does mean a lot so that's very very um generous of you guys but anyway, this is how you fix it, that issue. Um, I have a few um, things that you guys can do to fix this issue. And I will tell you how I personally solved this issue for myself. So I put some gameplay in the background um, to show you guys that my controller is fully working whenever it comes to the L3 sprint part of things. So you guys are probably wondering, so how did I fix this flex? Is there, is there any way to fix this? I've seen your comments, guys, and I thought I would make an update video, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. But more importantly, hopefully it does help you guys out. So I'm gonna give you guys a list of options that you guys can do, um, starting from one from the simplest to going up you know, higher to the complicated ones. So number one, um, this one's pretty easy, pretty simple. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so don't quote me on it, but all you have to do is blow into your L3 analog. So all you have to do is uh, blow into it. I know it sounds weird, it sounds daft, but it does sometimes work. It has helped me a few times. It hasn't always lasted forever. Sometimes it lasts me a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks, a month at least, and then it would go back to its old ways. But that one does work. So you guys can do that, that would be number one. Number two is completely dismantle your controller. Um, that means probably opening it up. Very easy to do. Um, it's not actually as hard as you guys may think it may be. Um, obviously, if you're opening it up, you guys do run the risk of obviously losing your warranty if you have one. But um, not even that, guys. It's actually very, very easy to do. I actually done this a lot of times. I have a PlayStation 4 controller whenever probably Alphonse of Warfare came out. It was a red controller and my controller always did not work on call of duty black ops 3 the l3 button or analog stick sorry would not work and i would be getting constantly frustrated so all i would do was open up a controller clean all the dirt and kind of fixed it and then it got fixed sometimes you can place a little um, piece of paper in between the analog and the uh button that connects to the analog and that actually will make it you know easier for you to click it but as only a suggestion guys um there is a lot more people who go into it professionally and i uh, could probably demonstrate that a lot better for you obviously i don't have that video because that's from years ago but open up your controller clean it out get all the dirt away from it all the dust that definitely does help as well but remember guys that is not always going to be a hundred percent guaranteed work it's like more of like a gamble 50 50 sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't some things may work for others may some things may not you know it's situational one thing that can work for me cannot work for you but that is definitely an option that can help your controller i've had it work for me in, in the past and hopefully it does also help you guys as well but last but not least the one that actually got my ps4 controller working so listen up guys this is actually very simple very easy and this is what me and mine work so it may work for you guys it may not work for you but taking my word on it i'm talking from experience i've done it and i've never had to get a new controller since so last time I my controller broke my missus got me a new controller that one didn't work so what i did was i contact amazon I go, hey, this controller's faulty, it's not working, I want a refund. They send me out a new controller. I send them, them the one that I bought, the first one, back originally to them, get the new controller, and boom. I have never had an uh, issue with the analog again. So what I'm trying to say here for you guys is, is buy a new controller from Amazon. 
only because Amazon would do it all the time. And if it does not work with the new controller, send it back to them, request a refund, they'll send you a brand new controller back. And if that one does not work, keep on doing that process until you find a controller that actually works for that game. And I know you guys may think, Flex, that is the most stupidest, dumbest idea I have ever heard. Why on earth would I do that? Well, guys, if you guys really want your controller fix, you guys will listen to the advice you're given. I'm just talking from experience. You guys don't have to do it if you don't want to. But this actually 110% work, guys. I've done it and I've seen it work for myself. So all you have to do is get a new controller. Obviously, not everyone's going to be able to afford a new controller. So those people that have tried option one and option two and then try option three. Obviously money's tight, I understand. People can't afford a new controller. It's like $50, $60, 50 pounds for a controller. So I do, do, I do know that money can be tight and different people can't afford a new controller. So you guys would be better sticking to option one to option two. But people who are more flexible and can get option three and get a new controller, well, you guys can just keep doing that. Buy a new controller. See if it works. If it doesn't work, refund the controller. They'll send you a brand new one. And just keep on doing that over and over and over again until they actually give you a controller that works for Modern Warfare. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Pretty straightforward. Pretty simple. Not really a lot to do. Pretty self-explanatory. Hopefully, you guys get your controllers fixed. If you guys do and you guys thought this video was very helpful, leave a like, guys. It'd be very much appreciated. Let's try and get this video going viral and let people know that their controller can be fixed and that this issue no longer needs to be an issue. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks for all the support, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Peace out, guys.